Hey everyone, so today I want to talk about UVB lighting and a little bit about temperature as well for reptiles. Now lots of reptiles don't require UVB lights. Snakes, leopard geckos, and some other types of reptiles don't require any special UVB lighting. But things like bearded dragons, uh, some other types of animals like turtles, and other, other types of reptiles do require UVB lighting. And if you don't provide them proper UVB lighting, they're not going to live. People often tell me in, in my videos when I'm talking about turtles and UVB lights, oh, I don't have a UV, UVB light and my turtle's two years old. Okay, well, your turtle's two years old. Turtles can live 60 years sometimes. And yes, they might live for a while without UVB light, but they're not going to live out their 60-year lifespan. They're not going to even come close to it unless you provide them the proper care. So what we're going to talk about here is the two types of UVB lights that are really available on the market. There's your fluorescent light, which as you can see on the front of the container, that's how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and take this out if I can really quick. Now these lights are okay. They're going to be good enough for certain types of things. I don't really recommend them because the UVB output is pretty low compared to other types of bulbs, but they do work and it's better than nothing. They're also lower cost. You can get these for about $10 to $15. I'd recommend for pretty much anything, go ahead and get the... the this one's called the 150. Some of them are called a 10.0. Uh, you want to get the highest UVB output you can uh, on these. They're usually called the desert ones. There are uh, rainforest ones, but I'd always go with the desert unless you got a really small cage and a really small inhabitant in there. So these lights are okay, and if you can't afford anything else, this is going to provide them with something at least. You got to make sure your light says UVB on it. There are lots of lights out there that look similar that don't provide UVB. If you have a light that says sun glow on it, there's some out there that say sun glow, and those don't look like this. They look like a spot lamp, a small spot lamp. Those do not pro provide UVB, even though they say sun glow, they don't provide UVB. You want to make sure to look at the package and make sure it says UVB on it. So these lights are okay, but this is really like, let's say, the first step. It's, it's not the best. It, it'll do okay. It's better than nothing, but it's not the best. It also provides no heat. So if you got this, you'd have to also get heating for something for, say, a bearded dragon because this is not going to provide very much heat at all. It might raise the tank by a couple degrees, but it's not going to do very much at all. The better type of UVB light, this is an older one, it looks dark because it's burned out. The other types of UVB lights you can get are mercury vapor or metal halide, and they look like this. These types of lights provide tons of UVB. They're very good, and they also provide heat. So on a bearded dragon cage, these cost a little more. Uh, I've seen them priced all the way up to $70, but you can find them if you look online or even in some stores for around $30 bucks now. They've come down a little bit. So for $30, bucks, you can get one of these and you're actually not going to pay much more because like I said with a light like this you also need a heat light if you have a bearded dragon all you need is one of these they don't need heating at night they only need heat during the day unless your nighttime temperature gets way too cold but they're fine they live in deserts they're fine at night if the temperature gets lower at night so this is going to provide plenty of UVB and heat so you're going to put this on the tank and you're going to make their hot spot with this and it's going to do all the work in one light so for 30 bucks, it's really not paying that much more because, like I said, you're getting two lights basically in one. This is what you want if you have a turtle, if you're a dragon, or many other types of reptiles that require UVB. You want to look for one called the solar glow, not the sun glow. Like I told you, the sun glow is a spot lamp and it's for a basking lamp, but it has no UVB. This is called the solar glow, and there's many other types out there as well. You want to make sure it's one of these big bulbs, that's a mercury vapor or metal halide. Now, after the UVB, after you have that on the tank, you want to also not just take this and put it on top of your tank. People do that all the time. You can't just take a bulb, throw it on your tank and say, oh, I'm done, everything's perfect. It doesn't work that way. You got to make sure your temperature is correct as well. For bearded dragons, you want anywhere between 97 and 107 degrees, let's say. Most people say 105 to 110. Some people say 100. I'd, you know, so just average it out. Anywhere between 97 and 107, I'd say, is pretty safe for most bearded dragons. So what you're going to want to do is have a clamp lamp or a lamp stand, and let's say the top of the cage is right here. Most people would just put the light right on the top of the cage, but that might be way too hot. You might be at 130 degrees, and their heat spot might be way too hot. So if you lift that up a little bit, the temperature on their hot spot is going to get a little bit less the higher you bring it up. If it's too cold, 
bring it a little bit closer down. You're going to have to figure out yourself how to raise or lower the light. You know, if you have a, a lamp stand or something that you can adjust, it makes it real easy. So you're going to want to invest in something like that. And you're also going to need a way to test the temperature. One of these digital uh, aquarium thermometers works fine. They have a cord. This one's new. It's never been taken out of the package. As you can see, a cord and then a heat probe right there. Put the heat probe right where their basking area is, so like in a bearded dragon tank on the log or on the rock, and see what the temperature is right at their hot spot. Test it and adjust your light as needed. If you want to get a little more technical, these really aren't that expensive. This is an infrared heat gun. How it works is you can point this at something and then it'll tell you the temperature. So my house is about 71, 72 degrees and all I did was take the temperature in my chair which should be house temperature and as you can see it's right around 72 degrees. So you could take this and point this right at the heat spot uh, like on your log or rock right below the light and test your hot spot. Then adjust your light as needed. You can't just go and buy one of these pre-set up things Lots of these pre-set up tank selling things like a pre-set up beard and dragon cage or whatever, lots of those don't even come with the proper lighting. So you want to make sure to do your research and get everything right so your animal can have a proper life, healthy life, and live, you know, a, a not stressful life. When you don't provide them the right cage, they're going to have a stressful life, not going to get the right stuff, they're not going to live very long, it's just not going to be good. So if you guys have any questions about UVB lighting, let me know. You want to look for something like this, a fluorescent light that says UVB on the package or a mercury, vape, mercury vapor or metal halide. These will also say UVB on the package. You can find them in the reptile aisle of pretty much any reptile store. And then again, like I said, make sure to test your temperature. That's a very big thing as well. Uh, I'm going to be giving away this UVB light right here. It's brand new, never used. Another thing about UVB, even if these lights still shine, you should replace them every six to twelve months. Now that's a big range, so I just go ahead and say about every nine months. Some people will say one year, some people will say every six months. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and replace mine every nine months because even if these keep giving off light, no matter what type, the compact uh, fluorescent here or the bigger bulbs, either one, after nine months, they stop producing UVB. The, the amount of UVB they give off is way lowered over time. So every nine months, even if these are still shining, they might last for two, three years, this type. You know, these fluorescents last a long time, but after nine months, they're not giving off UVB. So if you leave this on your tank for three years, that means for two years, your reptile's not getting UVB, and it's, you know, not doing good. It's going to die, probably. So I'm going to be giving this away, like I said. Just wanted to get those facts out there for you guys. We'll be doing more reptile videos soon. Uh, and check out soon. Stay tuned to my channel because I will be giving this away very soon. I got to decide exactly uh, how I'm going to do the giveaway or contest, but that'll be coming up really soon. So uh, that's it for right now. We'll see you guys later. Happy pet keeping. And uh, like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment below or send me a private message if you got a specific question. And we'll see you guys later.